Woohoo! Hello guys. So today let's talk about this question. I have a couple of questions. I just reached 600 fans and that's amazing. Um, slow and steady. I'm not, I don't really care about the numbers that much. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's not about the numbers, right? But just let you know, I reached a milestone. I'm happy, glad, thank you, grateful as well. So today I just posted this question just now, recent, and then three hours ago I posted this question. Um, have not heard anything yet, just uh, been, you know, working, working on working on the July 2020 <laughs> YouTube challenge. It's uh, really fun. Um, okay, so I posted this, let me see how many hours ago, 12 hours ago, and one day ago I posted this. Um, yeah, somehow the, the the stuff got cut off. I think on my phone it just cuts it off. But uh, it's a quote, um, and then obviously uh, this one I just posted um, twelve hours ago. So I have twenty on the on the purple one, and then are you tired? I got five. And what is the worst phase of your life? I got six responses, and oh these none of these none of these are my responses this guy i think only two people responded but it's fine and this is also i have not responded at all and i'm going to listen to them right now so today today's talk is going to be do you judge a book by its cover can you and should you all right so let's see what people say if they say this is about real books or not real books, <laughs> or is it figuratively, metaphorically, etc., etc. Okay, let's jump in. Um, all right, let me listen to these, and we'll s I'll respond to them, and maybe make a part two for that if I if I do respond. Um, sometimes I don't need to respond, I think, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Let's let's just listen in. I don't judge a book by its cover, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover because it's just a cover, like what? And you shouldn't judge a book by its cover because um, it's a, just a cover, but so yeah. Mm hmm. You know, the minute somebody hears the word judge, they automatically go, Oh, no, we mustn't ever, 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 ever do that. But it's not exactly so cut and dry. Uh, I'll tell you, um, the old saying is you should never judge a book by its cover. I think to say never is a bit of an extreme approach. Um, and I'll explain what I mean. There are some things that are obviously what they are. And if you don't pay attention to what you see and don't take things at face value, you could wind up in some deep trouble or wind up in a predicament you don't want to be, you know, or, you know, whatever that may be. That, that's, um, so you can't say never judge a book by its cover. Sometimes what you see is what you get. And the thing is, uh, in a situation like that, you're usually looking at that, you're using your experience, you're following your gut, you're using discernment and wisdom, and you have to use that. You have to. When somebody tells you never to, that, that you absolutely can never trust what you see, that's suspicious. I don't pay attention to anyone who tells me that I can't trust what I see. He says, it's all... Do I judge a book by its cover? Um, can I? Yeah, anybody can. Should you? Uh, no, you shouldn't. I mean, what you see is not completely everything that this person has been through on the inside, and you're not God, so you really can't see his heart or her heart. And, you know, like I said before many times, like, everybody goes, everybody, everybody. <laughs> Okay. Because although things do not always appear as, you know, don't always uh, look as though they, as they appear, even though there's, that's more of an exception than the rule. Most of the time what you see is what you get. Sometimes things are not the way they appear. But you can't just go leaning on that because it seems nicer to do. 
you have to actually it's actually dangerous for you to assume now if when you look at somebody feelings of disdain come out and you have no idea who they are or what they are you don't know anything about them you just you're just looking at them and your own personal prejudices are accompanied with what you begin to think about them now that's wrong that's absolutely wrong um uh, and that's when jesus says judge not not in that particular way you're not supposed to everybody everybody has their thing that they're going through and with the world and the world the way it is today like that's the last thing you should do that's the last thing we all should do what we should do is come together and 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 build each other up and speak life be life be light thank you But he does say to use discernment. And so that's the difference between the two. One is done with discernment and wisdom and taking seriously what you're looking at. And the other is done with disdain and preconceived notions. And and uh, it's not fair and it's actually often unkind. And uh, usually it's your problem more than it's anyone else's. And that's what I got to say. Um, I guess I'm kind of in the middle of all the responses that have already been said. I don't think you should make assumptions about somebody's personality, who they are, and what they've been through based on what they look like. Like, superficial things, especially things that can't, you know, be changed easily. But at the same time, I think it's human nature, and it's natural to just make that first, what is it, three-second opinion on somebody on, upon first meeting them. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think you shouldn't judge somebody's outward appearance until you've seen their actions and the way that they talk and the way that they treat other people. And I think that's the ultimate test. But a lot of times in life, you don't get the opportunity to get past that. So I think it's just human nature. But I don't think you should just judge people in a negative way because of something that they can't fix about themselves or whatever. Now, I know most of the time people say don't judge a book by its cover or in any other form or way of saying that, yet everyone does it all the time no matter what it is. Like, some people just can't help it, and they'll think that and be like, okay, I don't want to judge this too quickly. Like, of course, I've already judged it. I've already put this idea into my mind about it, but I'll be open to it. So, yeah, I think everyone does it, and yeah, you can, but... But yeah, people are going to be quick to judge something. So, yeah, it's, go it's going to happen. doesn't matter if you do have an open mind about things and try not to judge things. Like, you're going to judge it. It's like the first thing that comes to people's minds is to judge something for it, what it is. So the least you can do is be open about it once you do. It's like, okay, I've judged it like that, but now let's be open to about it. I don't judge a book by its cover. I make people stay and make them happy. <laughs> Anyways, you're an important one, and I'm not the important <laughs> one because the because the world doesn't. The world would be better without me, actually. What? No, no, no way. That's why I don't ever judge a book by its cover. What? Okay. okay, so it just depends. Um, talking about being friends or like, um, when I'm like cooperating or just like team working, I really don't judge people and how they look. But to talk about relationships and stuff, yeah, have the right to. Everybody has the right to. It's just not 
Okay, so it's not just about here to say fat, thin, short, tall, something. It's all about like age and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if somebody looks too looks too old, yeah, I might um kind of like I might take more consideration to date them. Mm -hmm. But like it, and same thing with like a person who's too young, you know. Um people say age don't matter, but just imagine like you might meet pedophile and all stuff and people trying to like um it's just horrible but yeah um i'm referring to like age as a appearance that i'm talking about so um same thing with person who's like doesn't know take care of himself or herself but unless like she's he she's under any circumstance like being homeless or like um just something happened that she cannot he or she cannot like take care enough of himself. But yeah, except that like if person who's like um So are we talking about people and the saying you can't judge a book by its cover, or are we talking about actual books? Because I could go either way with that comment. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I don't judge a book by its cover. I just, re I, I judge what's inside a book, like, depending on if we're talking about people or books. But uh, I just judge a person by their personality and what they offer. Like, what, what do they, what they do? I don't judge them by their looks because that's it's pretty shallow and mean. I just judge people by what they do, of what they do. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, I guess I need to clarify if it is either or. Um, okay, let me record something and then I'll end off this uh, part one. And I guess th I think there's going to be more responses very soon. I mean, we really hit 20 responses. Um, so I'm going to just record something right now and you're going to listen in and then I'm going to wrap it up and we'll see if there's going to be a part two or not. If not, I hope you enjoyed this part and let me just record something real quick. All right, guys, thank you all for responding. We already have 20 responses and it's been, it's been pretty interesting. I mean, it's kind of divided. Some people are talking about people, judging people, people's outward appearance, and sometimes people are talking about books. Well, let me just clarify. Let's talk about people and not books. Because books, you know, is very subjective. People is more interesting to talk about. Um, so yeah, the, the saying goes... Um, okay, so the saying goes, do not judge a book by its cover. So I'm asking, can you judge a book by its cover? Should you judge a book by its cover? And by extension, I'm talking about people. Do you judge people based on their appearance, whether they are tidy or messy, polite or not? So not just the looks, but the characters, right? You're looking beyond, like I usually I look beyond their appearance. I look at the people's uh, character, their integrity, um, how they do things, are they uh, responsible? So obviously, I try to withhold my judgment. I mean, everyone judges. So I'm trying to withhold my judgment and my opinions and my first impression. A lot of times, people say the first seven seconds, you see someone, you already have a immediate uh, judgment or immediate first impression. So why don't uh, I'm not sure if you guys hold back a bit and and judge person or you know uh, evaluate the person with more time. All right, so that's basically what I wanted to say. Um, I, I guess now that I've prefaced it, even though it's a little uh, middle, it's a little late. Um, hopefully, we'll see more people respond, and I'll respond to people as well. And so if I do, I think I will hit like 40 people, 40, 40 responses. And uh, it's not really so much of responses and the numbers, but it's, it's fun to just like, you know, I'm, I'm really into data, so... Uh, I'm not collecting data. I'm just like, you know, I like to measure um, 
different things. And a number is like a milestone, like I said. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day, but it's nice to have milestones. It's like, okay, if this is a good question, it will hit X amount of responses and responses including my my reply to responses okay so hope you had a great time and i will see you in tomorrow's video probably not uh part two of this because it's, i'm going to give it some time but we'll see all right okay so thank you for checking out this and i will share another question tomorrow and maybe make a part two of this eventually all right thanks so much Remember to post your comments in the comment section and look at the description. And if you need any other stuff, just let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe. If you already did, please, uh, I want to thank you for that. And I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in tomorrow's question of the day. Till tomorrow, take care. God bless. And stay safe. Very, very important. Stay safe and stay alive. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.